As a rookie in Japan, Shohei Otani was described as a quote, selfish player whose team was ruining his career. In 2021, he had what Sporting News called the greatest individual season in sports history. And in 2022, he's having an even better season. He can throw a 102 mile per hour fastball, hit a ball 119 miles per hour, and reached a sprint speed of 19.8 miles per hour. That's faster than Michael Vick. When coming to America, he voluntarily lost close to $200 million just to play Major League Baseball. In Japan, he gave his entire salary to his mother so she could manage it. She gave him an allowance of $1,000 a month. After two years, he saved $20,000, meaning he spent $4,000 in two years. His salary was $2.4 million a year. Otani doesn't do anything except baseball and has a borderline psychotic obsession with becoming the best athlete in the world. And right now, not a single athlete in any sport even comes close. Just compare him to LeBron James, who despite being one of the greatest and most versatile players in a sport that is way less specialized than baseball, has never finished a season top 10 in points, rebounds, and assists. This season, Otani is top five in the AL in three major offensive categories and also three major pitching categories. No other athlete in the world can compete because he is a starting pitcher and a designated hitter, making him one of only two MLB players in the past 100 years to do that. Since the 90s, there have been six MLB players who also played in the NFL. Meaning, if Otani was the league's best hitter, then played in the NFL during the offseason, that would actually be less impressive. Out of all the players who've done this, Bo Jackson was the best, making an all-star team in baseball and leading the NFL in three offensive categories in the same year. But unlike Otani, he could only keep up this insane production for one year. And according to War, Otani's 2021 season was more more valuable than all eight of Bo Jackson's MLB seasons combined. There have been several two-way players within football. Lou Groza was one of the biggest offensive linemen in the league and was also the best kicker in the league. Jimmy Conselman was not only the team's quarterback, he also played defensive back and was the head coach of the team. He also owned the franchise. However, unlike Otani, neither won league MVP and played over 50 years ago. In modern sports, this doesn't happen because it requires an insane workload and obsession to training that only Otani has, and these stories prove his obsession to baseball is borderline psychotic. As a rookie in Japan, Otani would pitch for the team's minor league team during the day, then that same day would be in the lineup and play right field for the major league team at night. By the time he left Japan at 23 years old, he didn't even have a driver's license because according to him it took too much time to get it and he only wanted to go to the field and back anyway in fact in his first professional season his team wouldn't even allow him to go out to dinner with his teammates he was only allowed to go from the stadium to the hotel or to the team's dormitories where he lived during the season and even after becoming the best and most famous athlete in japan he voluntarily stayed in the team's dormitories which are usually reserved for young players where players need to request and receive permission anytime they want to leave. According to him, he literally trains while he sleeps, saying he, quote, gets ideas while he's sleeping, then tries them in the game the next day. Otani has the obsession and competitiveness of Kobe and Jordan, but his on-the-field antics are kind of the opposite. Otani is constantly apologizing and waving at people. He threw a ball close to Mark Hanna's head. He got pissed and screamed at Otani. Otani just laughed and apologized. During a brawl with the Mariners, him and his interpreter got in the pile and pulled a player out in the friendliest way possible. He's constantly seen picking up trash off the field because in high school, he was taught this is good luck. Otani's personality really doesn't seem like an ultra competitive athlete, but he is definitely built like one. In fact, his raw physical ability made some people call him the best player in the world before he even stepped foot in America, making him arguably a bigger prospect than LeBron James, who is known as being the best prospect in basketball history. But believe it or not, at one point, there was even a prospect in his class ranked higher than him. He 
ended up playing in the Philippines for the Pure Feud TJ Hot Dogs. Otani had no such competition. He set the Japanese record for fastest pitch thrown in high school, set the record for fastest pitch thrown in Japanese history, and hit a home run that literally went through the roof of the Tokyo Dome before he ever even stepped foot in America. MLB prospects are graded on a scale from 20 to 80. Getting an 80 means that you are a Hall of Fame level talent in that skill. It is only given to the top 0.2% of major leaguers. Otani got an 80 in three different skills, meaning that he has Hall of Fame level talent in power, in speed, and for his splitter. It goes without saying that this has never happened in the history of baseball, where it's universally accepted that being a hitter and a pitcher at the same time is impossible. And if it wasn't for this extremely rare and lucky circumstance that likely will never happen again, Otani would have never even been allowed to attempt to do both. After high school, Otani publicly announced he would sign to a major league team, asking Japanese teams not to draft him. The Nippon Ham Fighters completely ignored this and drafted him anyway. To convince Otani to sign with them instead of going to America making their pick worthless, they had to offer him something that no other team was willing to. The ability to void his contract and allow him to go to America whenever he wanted and let him become a two-way player, which literally no other team on earth was even considering. Otani became the first two-way player in Japan in over 60 years, when several players did it for a few years before they decided that doing both was too hard. Babe Ruth was an American icon for doing this for a year and a half before he also decided it was too hard. The only players in the 100 plus year history of baseball who did this for more than a few seasons were Bullet Joe Rogan and Martin DeHigo. These players were so legendary, they made the Hall of Fame despite never playing a game of Major League Baseball because of the color barrier. So obviously, nobody thought Otani could do it. He was called childish for taking a bat away from quote, real players. Scouts in Japan thought that the fighters were literally ruining his career by allowing him to do both, and the fighters themselves likely wouldn't have even allowed him to do both if they didn't think it was the only way they could prevent him from signing in America. But within three years, he became the second best hitter in the league while simultaneously being the best pitcher in the league. He won league MVP and every other award in Japan, becoming the most famous athlete in the country. In 2017, Otani submitted his request to go to MLB, which literally cost him hundreds of millions of dollars. But before we get to that, a word from today's sponsor. Everyone has people in their life that they rely on. For example, I have an editor who's editing this video right now. Whether you need a personal assistant, producer, babysitter, or almost anything else, ZipRecruiter will make finding them much easier because they do all the work for you. And right now, you can try it free at ZipRecruiter.com BDE. ZipRecruiter is the number one rated hiring site based on G2 satisfaction ratings as of January 2022 because they use their powerful technology to find and match the right candidate for your job. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. In fact, the hardest thing to do is remember this special URL, ZipRecruiter.com BDE. That's where you can try ZipRecruiter for free. Again, that's ZipRecruiter.com slash BDE, where you can start hiring for free today. Otani requested his release so he could go to MLB in 2017. If Otani waited two more years, he would have been a free agent and would have signed a major league contract for around $200 million. But since he was still under contract in Japan, he was only legally allowed to sign for $3.5 million. Otani did not care. He signed to the Angels, making less money than he made for the Fighters and $190 million less than if he would have just waited two more seasons. Being the first two-way player in MLB was the only thing Otani cared about, which just based off the daily work schedule for a major leaguer literally seems impossible. MLB pitchers typically arrive six hours before the game starts to do pitching workouts. Position players also arrive six hours before the game starts to do position player workouts. Shohei Otani does both. In theory, that's 12 hours of work a day, plus three hours of games he plays every single night. 
That's 15 hours of baseball every day and doesn't even include the insane travel schedule professional baseball players go through. And this insane work schedule almost ended his career as a two-way player. Otani's first week in MLB was electric. He hit three home runs in his first four games. He took a perfect game into the seventh and over his first two starts, held opposing batters to a .093 batting average. At one point, he was even the betting favorite to win MVP as a rookie. Then, he completely fell apart. This scout said he probably should be at A ball right now. His next three starts were terrible, and then came injury. Otani parted tonight's game due to a blister. After injury. Shohei Otani will undergo Tommy John surgery. When Otani found out he was getting Tommy John, he was so depressed, he didn't stop outside his house once for an entire week. Otani was still allowed to hit, putting up numbers strong enough to win Rookie of the Year, but this was used by many as proof he shouldn't focus on pitching at it's all. It's time for the Angels to step in and make a decision for him. It's too hard to be the best hitter and pitcher at the highest level. He played 2019 solely as a hitter to recover his elbow. He hit well, but experienced even more injuries. You almost have to pick one or the other because both are so demanding. Rehabbing from an elbow and knee injury while trying to train at two positions, plus a pandemic, made Otani's 2020 the worst season of his career. Then, another injury. Tommy John surgery, check. Knee surgery, check. Now an arm strain, check. He's screwed. Otani was getting six days rest between starts, resting the day before and after pitching, and was not put in the lineup in games when he pitched. But despite all of these safety measures, his body was breaking down. And in 2021, he knew it was his last chance to prove a two-way player was possible. The Angels went with the complete opposite approach. He would get essentially no rest, play every day, and hit and pitch during the same game giving him a workload never seen in baseball history. And this caused the best season ever seen. He became the first player ever to be selected to the All-Star team twice in the same season, once as a pitcher and once as a hitter. He was selected to compete in the Home Run Derby, had his interpreter catch for it, and donated the $150,000 he won to the Angels clubhouse workers. An All-Star game jersey signed by Otani sold for over 130 grand, and it wasn't even game worn. In Japan, every single Angels game was nationally broadcasted, including an alternate broadcast that filmed him the entire game no matter where he was. He won the Silver Slugger Award, the Best DH Award, AP Male Athlete of the Year, ESPY's Male Athlete of the Year, was listed of one of the top 100 most influential people in the world by Time Magazine, and was unanimous MVP. He was even chosen by the Japanese government to get the People's Honor Award of Japan. However, Otani turned it down, saying, quote, it's too early for me to get the award. Otani's 2021 was ranked as the single greatest season by any athlete in sports history. In 2022, he's already accumulated more war than he had in 2021. In an eight-game stretch in June, Otani made two starts, didn't give up a single run, and struck out an insane 49% of the batters he faced. During this stretch, he also hit four home runs and had 12 RBIs. He accumulated 1.8 war. That's more war than the entire Detroit Tigers offense has all season. Otani did it in eight days. Since 2021, Otani has offensive numbers on par with Willie Mays' career numbers while putting up pitching stats on par with Pedro Martinez's career numbers. He is literally two Hall of Fame players in one making him the greatest athlete on earth. The Baseball Doesn't Exist merch line is live. We have everything you need, so make sure you buy something and make my dreams come true. Thanks for watching.